In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Welcome to day five of our preparation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In our today's reflection, we are reflecting from the book Imitation of Christ by Thomas Akempis, where he, he writes, Wherefore, but I did know well how to cast from me all human comfort, either for the sake of devotion or through the necessity by which I am compelled to seek thee, because there is no man that can comfort me, then might I deservedly hope in thy favor and rejoice in the gift of a new consolation. Thanks be to thee from whom all things proceed, as often as it happens to me. I indeed am but vanity and nothing in thy sight, an inconstant and weak man, where therefore can I glory, or for what do I deserve to be thought of highly? Forsooth of my nothingness, and this is most vain. Truly, vainglory is an evil plague, because it draws away from true glory, and robs us of heavenly grace. For a while, a man takes complacency complacency in himself. He displeases thee while he wants for your human applause. He is deprived of true virtue, but true glory and holy exaltation is to, glo is to glory in thee and not in oneself, to rejoice in thy name, but not in one's own strength to find pleasure in no creature, save only for thy sake. Let thy name be praised, not mine. Let thy work be magnified, not mine. Let thy holy name be blessed, but let nothing be attributed to me of the praise of men. Thou art my glory. Thou art the exaltation of my heart. In thee, we lay glory and rejoice all the day, but for my life, I will glory in nothing but in my infirmities. The end of the reading. Welcome to the reflection of the fifth day of our preparation for the consecration to our Lord Jesus Christ through the Blessed Virgin Mary. From the book, Imitation of Christ, by Thomas Akempis, book three, chapter 40, we are reminded that we should glory in God and not on human beings, or creatures or any other thing. A human being always looks for comfort and sometimes when this human being looks for comfort, he looks for comfort in creatures. He looks for comfort in money the comfort zone sometimes has become pleasure. Sometimes our comfort zone is the women. Sometimes it is the men. Sometimes it is sex. Sometimes 
it is the pleasure given by drinking man always seeks for comfort unfortunately he seeks for comfort he seeks for security where he can never get it and the man also always has a desire of being applauded the man always has a desire of being praised the man has a desire of being recognized of being known many people are looking for fame in different ways but through uh, Thomas Akempis we are reminded that this that we are focusing on is truly vain glory and it is an evil plague because it draws away from the true glory and it robs us of heavenly graces when a man puts himself at the center of everything and he puts god aside this depleases god and that is why you and i who are preparing to consecrate ourselves to jesus through the blessed virgin mary we should always by all means magnify god and not magnify ourselves we should always magnify the works of god and not our works we should always magnify what god does and not what we do and for the many times we've seeked for applauses for the many times we've wanted to be magnified for the many times we've wanted to be at the center of everything today we are encouraged to surrender our wills to the will of god so that god may be at the center of our lives at the center of everything so let us empty ourselves of all the praises that we need let us empty ourselves of all the applauses that we need let us empty ourselves of all the vain glory it doesn't take us anywhere it is only god who should be given all honor all glory all adoration all worship may the lord help us to know that we truly depend on him for everything and that on our own we are nothing without god may god bless you all as you move closer to jesus through mary by mary and for mary may god bless you all as we conclude our reflection after reflecting don't forget to recite the very creator you need the holy spirit to come and recreate you to come and recreate us let us not forget ave mari stella let us not forget to recite the magnificat and glory be to the father so that all this time as we do the preparation god may be glorified god may be praised and god may be all in all and we be nothing may god bless you all in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen